Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum wa barakatuh. Hopefully you are well <coughs> and enjoying these days at your home and hopefully you are not wasting your time. These are the three worksheets about those topics which have been which have already been covered in the class. And the first worksheet is about funeral prayer and hadith number nine. Question number one is briefly describe the method of funeral prayer and also how many obligatory acts are there in funeral prayer. It's so simple. The answer is so simple. You can easily compile the answer of this question. So there are the material is in the book and if there's any difficulty, so you can Google it as well. But you must memorize du'as. What happened? Most of the students can perform funeral prayer, they know how the gestures of funeral prayer, how to wave their hands, but they don't know what du'as are. So they must memorize du'a. Allahumma fril hayyina wa mayyitina wa shahidina wa ghaibina ila akhirin. And their answer must be in order. They should not forget the sequence of the, their answer. And second question is, how will you define that funeral prayer strengthens unity and love among Muslims. So they must mention at least five points which should elaborate that funeral prayer is funeral prayer can strengthen unity, love, compassion, and funeral prayer, performing funeral prayer can also console the family of a bereaved person. So you must mention at least five points. If there is any difficulty, there are so many articles and there are uh, on Google and also uh, one paragraph, one paragraph is mentioned in your book as well, which will help you to gather points and compile your answer. Hadith, number, number two hadith is about hadith number nine. It is enough for a person to be counted a sinner that he spread a rumor. And that is the hadith is it is enough for a person to be counted a sinner that he has spread a rumor. And the question is nowadays, fake news is prevailing due to the social media. Is there any instruction in Hadith to address this issue? This issue? And that issue is so prevalent in our society. Because nowadays, social media is playing the worst role in our society. Most of the people just watch a clip or just hear any news which is circulating on social media and they start spreading that news. And what happens? The worst happens. So you have to uh, consider the following points while compiling your answer. First of all, you have to define what is authentic news. So you should, you should, you, you can ask your father and mother and your elder brother the definition of news, the authentic news, then you should write the point or you should um, define the authentic news, about authentic news. And second thing is, you have to mention um, the history that how fake news has ruined people, the life of the people. There are many uh, historical events in the life, uh, in, 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 the, in the life of the people which will easily um, identify that um, social media or fake news are ruining the life of, uh, lives of the people. And also you have been given an article which is already attached into your copy as well, which will uh, further define uh, the rumor and its destruction. You must go through that article and then you will easily compile an answer of this question. Worksheet number two. Write a brief summary of the battle of Hunayn. Support your answer with a reference of Hadith. Do not forget to mention significant facts of the battle. So, first of all, you have to read the battle of Hunayn thoroughly and then you should try to summarize that battle of Hunayn. Okay? So, common points will not be acceptable when you compile your answer, your uh, points must be factual, you must 
mention names, tribes, and dates. Okay, and you should, you must um, support your answer with the, with the reference of the Quran and Hadith. Okay, and your your answer must be in detail. A detailed account of the Battle of Hunan uh, will be accepted. So I will also recommend you while. Uh, writing an answer of that battle, you must uh, have a uh, you must um, have a, a book a zero book, and you must uh, read that event, the Battle of Hunan, from that zero book, which will help you further um, writing an answer of this question. And you must you should not forget to write uh, major events of that war. B. What lesson would you derive from the Battle of Hunan? Okay, so at least three lessons should be derived. At least three lessons should be derived. And you know that where, uh, what is the concept of uh, reading Islamic battles? Not just for entertainment, but our reading must be for um, our reading must have uh, must have a purpose or must have a cause. So in the Battle of Hunan, there are three to four lessons already mentioned in your book. And if you feel further, um, if you feel any difficulty, so you should um, you should Google it. So you will easily find uh, you may find uh, lessons of uh, that war. Worship number three. What are the common characteristics of the Zubair and Hazrat Abdul Rahman bin Awf Again, general points will not be acceptable and number B, at least five points should be mentioned which will show the common characteristics of these noble Sahaba. Already handouts has, have been attached into your copy and there is a uh, <clears throat> further knowledge in your book as well and if you if you want if you want to add more detail so you can google it or you can read um, books of the sahaba as well so which will um, which which has a lot of knowledge about the lives of these two sahaba number three briefly describe the important events of the life of Umm Salma and Hazrat Zainab bint Khuzaymah radiyallahu ta'ala anhuma also, how would how would how would you derive lessons from Muslims for Muslims, especially for your sisters and mothers for their life? You must read a given handout already attached in your copy, and those hand, uh, handouts is um, has a detailed account, which will I think which is more than enough. So if you if you will read that handout, so inshallah you will have, you can easily write major events of these Ummahatul Mu'minin. And you must derive relevant, uh, relevant lessons for Muslims, especially for, for women, for your sisters and for your mothers. So hopefully that uh, before you come to the class, you must complete these three worksheets and because these three worksheets will help you in your exam as well. Jazakallah.